Okay, hello dear friends. Good uh, evening and good night. Actually, I'm talking to myself. I'm not talking to you. And uh, we'll just continue to make up that story. The story about the cat. That little cat. And uh, we all know people make story for a reason. And uh, especially those stories about animals, about simple objects, subjects. About simple things, simple stories, and uh, made up stories. They are usually metaphoric. It's kind of a metaphor. So you will think. Whichever way you think, I will just uh, think whichever way I think and uh, make up the story according to my way of thinking. the story according to me, the story according to Haiyin, the cat, according to Haiyin. So, once upon a time, in a small village, a teeny tiny little village, teeny tiny, teeny tiny, teeny, such a little tiny village. There, there were a few people living there. Actually, exactly six families. And uh, in this little family in this little village there were there was no cat since there was no cat you guess what they had yes you are right you are right there were a lot of rats Rodent, rats, mice, rats. And the rats were crazy and vicious and they were they were the king. Because there was no cat. So the rats did anything they liked. They they ate the rice, they, they were everywhere, and uh, it was, it was so, so bad. And uh, the village, everybody hated, hated this, and uh, they tried every way to try to get rid of the rats and to cure the problem. One day there came there came in the very 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 dark night there were there was no star 
there was no moon, a covered dark night, there came one cat, and the cat went to the first family, and the first family greeted him, greeted the cat with the most noble, the most glorious ceremony to receive that cat. And the cat was so happy. So he stayed in the first family the whole day. He came from far, far, far away. And he walked, 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 and he was tired, and he was thirsty, and he was so thin and skinny and slim, he was almost dying, and the family treated him, treated, treated him, let's say a, a male cat, treated him with all their heart and soul gave him the best food he could imagine. He was so happy in the family. So he stayed one whole day and he was so happy. Then at the end of the 24 hours, at the end of the day, he felt bored and tired. And then he sneaked do, 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 and left the first family and went to the second family. So he went to the second family. He was in the first family on Monday and then he was in the second family. Tuesday. And the second family treated him with the most glorious ceremony and gave him the best food he could ever imagine. He stayed the whole day, he ate, he sleep, he slept, and he played. He was so happy. And then he got bored. He went to the third family in the dark covered night in the third day. So Wednesday he was in the third family and then Thursday he went to the fourth family and Friday he went to the fifth family and then on Saturday he went to the sixth family. So he went to these families one day at a time and on Sunday. Well, he has ate, he has eaten so many good food every day. And he thought, well, maybe that's a good idea to digest and to fasting to fast, fasting, and not eating anything. So on Sunday, he sneaked into a place that nobody could see him. And he just sit under the tree and wear his glasses and read newspaper or play something. And uh, he was very happy. <laughs> so the whole week passed. The second week, on Monday, he went to the first family. Tuesday, second family. Wednesday, third family. Thursday, fourth family. Friday, fifth family. And uh, Saturday, the sixth family, and then Sunday, he took 
a break. Donc comme ça, le premier jour, il continue, il continue, il continue comme ça. And uh, it continues like this. On and on and on and on. So it has So day in day out he was very happy until one day he was tired of this kind of life because uh, on Monday he missed the food on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday and on Tuesday he missed the food on Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and Saturday. So he was so spoiled. He did not want to eat food. One day in one family, he wanted to eat food every day, eat all kinds of food. So what he did? So this cat not even can read calendar. He can also watch the clock, to look at the clock and read the clock. So in the morning, he went to the first family. And uh, that's breakfast. And then he will have uh, he would have his morning snack, snack time, or morning tea time. I remember in Australia we called it morning tea or snack time, or snack time, I forgot. Morning tea time. He went to the second family. Comes noon time he went to the third family for lunch and afternoon time afternoon tea time he went to the fourth family dinner time he went to the fifth family and midnight snack time he went to the sixth family so every day he always went to a different family at exactly the same time. He separated one day into six partition of time, six different period of time, so that each period he went to one family. It's kind of uh, students went to class so you have the first period Chinese class the second period English class third period math class fourth period uh, art class fifth period PE class sports class and uh, the sixth period what is the sixth period well, let me see science and uh, science, English we have said, science class. So every day he had six different meals. So every day he has six meals. So this way, because he separates each day into six period, so there's no need to worry about Sunday. So he went Monday six meals, Tuesday six meals, 
Wednesday six meals, Thursday six meals, Friday six meals, Saturday six meals, and Sunday. He also ate six meals. So he was so happy, and uh, and uh, as you can imagine, every day he ate six meals, six big, good, most delicious meals. He became fat. There came one day. He was having his breakfast in the first family, and then the second family. Second family came. There was the second family、uh, owner. He need. To borrow something to the first family, so he came, and then he found that cat. He was so surprised. For all his life, he was thinking the cat was his, because he never knew that cat could went was in another family. Because the cat was always in his own family, in a particular time, and this time he saw the cat in another family, and then he was thinking, "Hmm, every day at this time he was not in my family. That's something strange." And the cat. Was not belonging to me only. This must be a cheater. He was very angry, and he went back home. And this time, the cat was busy eating. He didn't see the owner of the second family visited the first family. And he went to the second family. In the morning tea time, and just at that time, the third family came, and the owner of the third family saw the cat. He was very ang- angry. He knew the cat was a liar, a cheater. Then the fourth family found, and then the fifth family found out, and then the sixth family. Found out, so all the family found out that the cat was a liar, a cheater, and he ate six meals in all different six families, and everybody was so angry, and they thought they were betrayed, and they thought they were cheated. They could not tolerate it, so they decided nobody would take that cat. And then, next time when the cat came to their home, any of their home, they closed the door and did not allow the cat to enter. The cat was so sad. He was so spoiled. He was used to be so spoiled, and suddenly he realized nobody would accept him. So he went far, 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 far away, and he went to a city. How long was this trip? Only nineteen. So he went to the city, and、uh, and in the city there were many cats. Nobody treated him 
as something special. He was in the street and he did not have good food. He became so thin and skinny. And back in the little teeny tiny Ichujui Pukui Kukui Nyunyu, that little tiny village, the cat left. At the beginning, people were angry because the cat was a cheater. They were cheated by the cat. After a few days, they started to miss the cat. It was so good when the cat was around, although the cat cheated them. They started to miss the cat. And uh, not only because they missed the cat, and there came a real problem. When the cat was there, all the rats were scared, and none of the rats showed up. And when the rats knew the cat has gone, the cat had gone, all the rats came out, jumping, dancing, discoing, and, uh, and uh, playing, and uh, they were so happy. And they took out their territory was taken away by the cats and now they took back their territory. They were jumping in the kitchen table, in the dining room, bathroom, in the in the library, everywhere. And people were so fed up of the rats. Then Everybody came out. The whole village came out. The six families discussed. This was not right. This is not right. They were saying, this is not right. The cat has done so many, has done something bad, but um, What can we say? Everybody wanted to be treated well. And everybody, when there is a chance, we all want to take advantage of this. And uh, it's only a cat. He wanted to eat good food. That's all is taking advantage of our kindness. And uh, we were blind, we didn't know. That's our problem, we didn't know this. If we knew, if we knew it, if we know it, oh gosh, what is the grammar? If we know there is a cat, we can all discuss and share it. So everybody discussed and they finally reached an agreement. It's a good agreement. I will tell you the agreement later. And, uh, and not only they reached an agreement, they put into practice. They went to look for the cat. They went as far as, very, very far away. And uh, gosh, that takes a lot of brain power to think about the story. And then, finally, in this little village, 
There was one student went to university in the big city. Finally, they decided to ask that young student, the young son of one family in the big city, to look for that cat. So the young son searched the city here and there and uh, put, uh, put uh, notes everywhere. Finally, one day, when he was in the street in a dark night, he saw a poor skinny cat trembling, shaking in the darkness. And the cat was so cold. He went close and he thought, maybe that cat I can take back home and help with the rat's problem. He bent down and took up the cat. You know what he found. It was the disappeared cat. It was him. He was so happy and so excited. He went to buy a train ticket and took the cat back to the village. The whole village was so happy and they decide this time each family treat the cat fair and square. The cat stay in one family one day. And since the families they discussed already, they knew they should make different food and balance the diet for the cat. So on Monday, the cat will eat fish. On Tuesday, the cat will eat vegetables. Wednesday, fruits. Thursday, bread. Friday, Friday, bread, bread, and dessert. Saturday, Saturday. Saturday, Saturday, meat, okay, meat, and then on Sunday, they will have a party, every family bring out something as a potluck to eat, so the cat was so happy, and he lived in that village, ever after happily and joyfully and uh, and uh, ever 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 after until one day Until one day I made up a new story, continue the story. I have not yet made up. Maybe you can help to make it up. The cat went to another went to another or the cat makes a lot of baby it's hard to think about gosh I'm not tired cannot fall
加呢，又不给，不给猫吃饱，它又想要。另一家呢，又特别善良，给猫很多好的东西。但是这个猫呢？神经。